Welcome back to MyIndieBuck.com. Today we're going to focus on Google Slides. All you want to do is open up your web browser and go to your Gmail account. Once again, go over here to these nine dots over in the corner and you'll see all your applications. In our previous episodes, we have gone over Google Drive in general, we've gone over Google Docs, Google Sheets, and now we're going to go over Google Slides. Google Slides is very much like PowerPoint. Uh, it, it can, in my opinion, can replace PowerPoint. However, I will say that I do not use PowerPoint very often uh, in my everyday life. I lead worship at churches at times, and I like to use it to put the words up for uh, worship songs and good backgrounds. It makes it really easy because, once again, you can share this across any platform. So once you create your, your slide presentation, it's in the cloud. You can pull it down as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. You can pull it down anywhere with any PC, with any smartphone, with any tablet, whether it be iOS, Android, or Windows. So it crosses all boundaries, and you don't have to worry about where that file is at or having the right app to open it up. All you have to do is go to your Gmail account and open up your presentation. So just like Sheets and Docs, there's a gallery template here, and you can open this up, and there's quite a few different presentation uh, templates that you can use. Most of the time when I'm doing the stuff that I do, I just start out with an empty, a blank one, but there's quite a few things here. You can do a portfolio or a pitch or status report. Let's just start with a blank one for now. Once again, just like Google Docs and Slides, you want to name your presentation. And we're going to name it Test for the sake of anything. Over here on the right, you have your themes. So you have a dark theme. You have a light theme. You can do it however you want. It's kind of got a nice little page turn. They do a really good job. And you can import certain themes that you'd like. Once again, I, I don't use this that often. Uh, what I do use is uh, for worship slides on a, on a screen to be able to show words. However, it's very simple to use. So this is your first one. Uh, the title is going to be uh, how to use slides. And uh, myandybuck.com. Okay, so we're going to add a second slide here. And you'll see it just adds it right down here at the bottom. Now, if you want to move the slide to the top, you just grab it and slide it. You can move it down here and grab it and slide it. It's very simple to use. This is where it gets kind of neat. You can do anything you want, just like on, on PowerPoint. You just click these in here. But let's say you wanted to uh, add a video, we'll say. So you can click on Insert, and you can click on a video. And when it pulls it up, it'll pull up either you can do a YouTube video or you can do a URL. So if it's something that's not on YouTube, for this presentation here, we're just going to go ahead and hit our YouTube account. This is the MyIndieBuck YouTube account with Google Drive, Cloud Storage, and Sharing. So we hit the Share button. Click on this here. Copy it. Go back to Google Slides. Click in the space. Right-click and hit Paste. And then hit Search. And it'll find it right there. So all you do is click on it then and hit select. And it puts it right in your slide. Is that amazing? You can take this slide and make it any size you want. You can resize it. You don't even have to keep it in its normal and what it was and its normal aspect ratio. You can just put it just like that if you'd like, and then you move on. So when you get over to here, now, when you decide to go live with your slides, you click present. You also have presenter view where you can uh, have speaker notes. So if you do presenter view, it'll pull it up here and you can start a online presentation, which is really, really cool because once again, as long as you are online, you can do anything you want. You can show this anywhere you want and do anything you want. You go through your presentation with people online. You can start new and ask people to join. Uh, you can have your speaker notes in there. But for right now, let's just go to the presentation. So this is the presentation 
how to use the slides, and I'm just hitting the space bar and or the arrow keys. You can't see that, but how to use Google Slides. We're going to hit it to the right. There's that. Oh, we need to play the video. So you just hit the play button. Welcome back to MyAndyBuck.com, uh, the last video that we talked about. need to go to the next slide, and you just go on to the next slide. There is the next slide. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, I will be doing more on all of these on Google Docs, Drive, Sheets. Our next one is going to be on Google Keep. So stay tuned, and uh, that's a little lesser known app that is extremely useful. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite apps that we have, and also Google Calendar will be coming up next. So please stay tuned. I appreciate you stopping in and checking out myandybuck.com. Please subscribe and uh, tell your friends. Thanks a lot, and put comments below if you need anything. Thanks a lot.